Hey guys, um, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. It is currently 1.02 p.m. I just woke up. Um, so okay, after careful, um, deliberation, sort of careful deliberation, I have decided on something resembling a course of action that might work here, and that is to go west from Oldale Town and just go forward beat all the trainers, do what I can, and then Mikale will be strong enough to help me train Wingull without, you know, running the risk of dying. What I was going to do was go north from Old Ale Town onto what I think is Route 103, but the problem with that is there were Wingull there, as has been seen, and Wingull have a tendency to kill fire types pretty quickly, and Torchic being a fire type... I think that's a bad idea. So I still have a heal from Old Ale Town, and I still have one more from the city that is to the west of this route, which is Petalburg City. So, all right, let's do this. Good luck, guys. See, that's one thing about Nuzlocke. It it is really designed to um, get you really attached to your Pokemon, so that when they die, you become very sad and that's sort of a bit of sadism, maybe, on its part, but I guess masochism for me, <laughs> because I am subjecting myself to that, but... So here we have a Zigzagoon level 5, which is probably the scariest Pokemon on this route, because it has a tendency to either score critical hits on you, or stall you down with Growl, or just be generally annoying. So I got lucky here. I beat it taking only 6 hit points of damage, which is very good, and not at all what I expected. And so I've beaten the first trainer. That's good. As you can see, there is grass here, and I am not particularly interested in catching my Pokemon now because I can't train it or anything like that, but I will probably when I get to the end of the route. So here's the next guy. He's a bug catcher. I don't remember what he's got. I think it's just Wurmples, which means he shouldn't be that much of a challenge. I wish Torchic learned Ember at level 9, because then I could one-hit KO these. Well, that is my fault for not remembering that there's a bug catcher here. Now, hopefully I'll get lucky, and they'll just try to string shot me over and over again, and I don't have to take damage from this guy anyways, but that's not a very realistic hope, I don't think. So I don't remember when Torchic learns Ember. I hope it's at 10. I really hope it's at 10, because Petoburg Woods is coming up soon which is this giant forest between Petterburg City and Rustboro, which is home of the first gym. Yeah, see there, I took two damages. But I really hope he learns Ember soon, because Petterburg Woods is full of bug and grass types that Ember can one-hit KO and Scratch can, like, five-hit KO. Okay, beating the second trainer, taking only two hit points of damage. Now, to get through this section, I run the risk of encountering a Pokemon. I'm just going to do it, I'm just going to do it, and here's a trainer. We're both beginners. I don't remember what he's got. I'm not particularly scared by what he's got. I think it's like Zigzagoons or something. Okay, Puchiana, level 5. This would ordinarily freak me out a little bit if I, hadn't, if I haven't been getting so lucky so far with not getting damaged and not a critical... Okay. Alright, so this is passable. I Level 10. I hope you learn Ember, please. Woo! That is significantly earlier than Cyndaquil got it. I'm happy now. So Ember has same type attack boost, or stab, which means its power gets boosted because it's a fire type move and there's a fire type Pokemon that is using it, which means that right now Ember is my strongest move for just disposing of Pokemon. Ember can probably one hit KO this Talo. That's good. Talo has sort of pathetic defense and special defense, but... Okay, so now with Ember, I'm in a lot better shape than I was without Ember, because Ember can one-hit KO a good portion of the Pokemon. Is there an item here? I forget. Well, I don't have Item Finder, so I can't check if there's an item there. Grumble, grumble. Okay. So, berries are useless because I'm not going to pick them because I can't use them. So, uh, this is the last trainer on the route. So... Yeah, it looks like that's good. It looks like I'm going to make it through without any casualties. Which is a lot better than it could have gone. So, I can Ember to either one hit KO this or two hit KO this or... If I'm lucky. Oh wow, Ember's even better than I remembered. Torchic is good! 
I had thought Torchic was going to be a somewhat poor choice for this because of her ma his matchup against the uh, first gym, but Ember is really doing a lot of things that Mudkip's Water Gun does not do. So okay, I made it through with only 11 hit points of damage. That is better than I could have possibly asked for. Well, I shouldn't be so speedy because I need to get this item, which is either a Pokeball or a Potion, and it's a Potion. That's good. I like potions. Potions heal my Pokemon. Pokeballs are kind of useless at this point because... And I step into Petalburg City. So I have finished Route 102. Now I'm going to go back and catch my Pokemon. And I'm going to spin the roulette. And let's hope I get lucky. Zigzagoon. This may or may not be lucky, depending on how you look at him. I say Zigzagoon's lucky because, oh crap. Well, that was not lucky. Getting critical hit by the Zigzagoon was decidedly not lucky. But having the opportunity to catch the Zigzagoon herself is lucky because Zigzagoon learns Headbutt in a couple of levels, and Headbutt is really awesome because it destroys almost everything, especially when Zigzagoon evolves, but... Okay. I've caught my Zigzagoon. What shall I call thee? What shall I call thee? Hmm. So I had to look up how to spell this. I thought it was Ginkgo, but no, apparently it is Ginkgo. So, it's sort of become tradition for me to name my Zigzagoon Zigzagoons after plants. It's sort of a weird tradition, but... Hang on, Windows update. Postpone. It's sort of a tradition that stemmed from the other time I tried to do a Nuzlocke, where I had a Zigzagoon named Willow, who was really, really valiant, and died, unfortunately, against Watson. I had to use Willow as sort of a pop fly, because my Marsh Tomp had less than 20 hit points left, and I had to get him in against the uh, Magneton without getting hit with the Sonic Boom. And the only way to do that, I'm just going to do the Wally event now, and I may cut this out later, but... Here's the Wally event. So, when you first enter the Petalburg Gym, you can't challenge the Gym Leader because he is your dad, and so what happens instead is he, assi he assigns you to watch over this newbie trainer named Wally. Not that I am any less of a newbie trainer, because in all honesty, I am not, but... For some reason, he decides that I, as a newbie trainer, and his daughter am fit to oversee Wally catching his first Pokemon, even though I myself have only caught two Pokemon in my life. So, Wally gets lucky. This is scripted, and every time he runs into a Ralts, which is the rarest Pokemon on this route, and also he runs into a level 5 Ralts, and level 5 Ralts cannot be found on this route. As in, they can be found at level 4 only when you, the player, are walking through this grass. So he actually breaks the rules of the game here, which I've always found somewhat off-putting. But okay, so now he tries to catch this, and the Ralts only knows Growl at this point. It learns Confusion at level 6. I guess, ostensibly, this is so it doesn't to it kill the Zigzagoon or something weird and end up messing with the event, but basically what this means is because he gives the Zigzagoon back to my father slash the gym leader when he's done with this, basically what this means is that Wally has caught his first Pokemon and it knows only Growl, which means technically it should be impossible for this to work as his first Pokemon because it doesn't know any damaging moves, so that Ralts can't protect him at all. So I, I'm just really baffled by how this works, because eventually he does get that Ralts up past level 5, and he shouldn't be able to do that, because it only knows Growl, and it can't KO any other Pokemon. Anyway, so that's my rant about the Wally event. And so, with that finished, we can now explore Petalburg City slightly. This is Wally's house, Wally's family are inside, they don't, they don't do anything particularly interesting at this point. These are other houses which I would go into if this wasn't recording, but I'm not going to because it is recording. So, next step, I think, is to attempt to train Wingull a bit, and the way I'm going to do that is go back to... Actually, this route is the best one. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on this route, but I'm going to heal up my Torchic with a potion. And having done that, I will then perform the switch of this. And I will do the thing where you go into the grass and then switch out your first Pokemon for another Pokemon and then kill it with the other Pokemon in order to gain experience. Now, ordinarily I'd call this something of an illegitimate tactic, but because this is a Nuzlocke and because I'm imposing such strange restrictions on myself, it's sort of necessary. Otherwise, um, Phantasm runs the risk, risk of just dying, and I don't have enough Pokemon to support him training very slowly. I don't have enough potions to support him training slowly. So I'm just going to save here, and because I think it's probably been 10 minutes, and until next time, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. I look forward to seeing you again.